Zealand Air is apparently now going to be weighing passengers before they get on the plane. From now until July 2nd, they're having this program to weigh passengers. When you hear the headline of this, it's very sensational. But when you actually read the article, it's a little bit not quite what you think. So first of all, what do you think it's about, Mike? Pound for pound, the biggest heavy weights in the world go boxing. No, it's about them looking at how much they're going to charge people down the road and if they can get away with this. <laughs> yeah, so that's what a lot of people think. Uh, and I mean, I was envisioning like, okay, you're like 200 pounds. You pay like 50 bucks extra for a ticket versus someone who's 150 pounds or something. Um, they say it's not because of that, though. They say really what it is, is it's just a survey to determine the average weight of a passenger mm -hmm. for their fuel efficiency calculations. That's that's what they say it is. And they've said that it's actually optional. You don't have to be weighed. The interesting thing, though, what they've done is they've made like an anonymous, the survey is anonymous, so they don't scan your boarding pass. And also it's at the gate and the person who weighs you can't actually see the uh, number of pounds that you weigh. So it goes into a, a computer blindly. But, you know, I, I think they can still guess, be like, oh, <laughs> 350, <laughs> you know, you get some big guys on there, like, you pretty much know anyway, but, you know, um, but yeah, apparently it's not, it's not for adjusting ticket prices. It's more for <laughs> fuel efficiency calculations. That's what they say. Well, I get it. It, it depends on how much weights in the, in the plane for tail, you know, but distribution and things. Yeah. Yeah. I, I still think that actually, you know, for distribution, it wouldn't work because it can't be an anonymous. You'd have to know what seat the person is in for distribution of weight. But they, they, what they say is they want to determine the average passenger weight. This is the beginning of the envelope, right? Yeah, the beginning, so, the starting this, a narrative. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what they're doing. They're starting a narrative and, and they're thinking like, how much backlash do we get by this? Oh, we didn't really get a lot. Let's continue to do it for the next six months and see if we get any more. Oh, we did it for the next six months. Let's install scales right before you step on the gate. So as you're going into the gate and you're clicking your ticket, they go, they can see your weight right at the time. And they go, okay, we, we took your weight last time you flew on New Zealand Air. And uh, we've you've gained five pounds. <laughs> you've gained 17 pounds. Um, we're going to take some of your New Zealand Air points away. Have a good day. We're going to use some of your points to cover this. So if you got, if you got points in your card. Yeah, I, I would be up for this because I'm pretty light. So I, I would be like, yeah, you know, maybe you can give me a higher status. Like I'm now a gold member or something because I don't weigh too much, you know. No, I'm the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, yeah. uh, I'm going to be paying more every time. This reminds me of, uh, of Heart Attack Grill. Do you know that place Heart Attack Grill in Vegas? They have a massive scales outside. And uh, if you're over 350 pounds, you eat for free, which is like the opposite of really what they should be doing. <laughs> but, but yeah, because they're just sort of encouraging, you know. Yeah, right. Marketing. Yeah. But um, I, I had a friend actually who he's, uh, I won't say who this is, but he, he's kind of on a weight loss journey and he's very large and he, he's, he's just about under 350 now, but we were joking like, oh, why you still can because he's really trying hard to lose weight and I was like why you still can you should go to heart attack grill you know because you'd eat for free but i think he's under 350 now so he's <laughs> so it's an achievement for him you know but um yeah it's, it's very unhealthy yeah no of course i mean it might encourage people to to lose weight and say oh i'm flying to new zealand i, I better slim down you know <laughs> yeah. i mean they couldn't hurt i think this is just starting the narrative so so you're too fat you can't order the double. Only one patty, I'm afraid. You know? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Just like you're too drunk, um, we're not going to give you shots. You can have a Miller Lite, though. As long as they don't see see the same kind of backlash Target sees right now, they're going to they're gonna continue to push the narrative. Airlines seem to be charging for more and more things these days. What, what do you think? I think some airlines even contemplated coin-operated toilets where you, you put a coin in to go, <laughs> to go in. <laughs> I've heard jokes like, at any point in time, if you need an emergency, please insert a quarter and an oxygen mask will come down. Like on the right, no, yeah. no frills airline. I remember I was flying one when I was a kid and the, the stewardess literally said that as a joke. And everybody started laughing and I was like, all right, this is pretty cool. I was like 19 or something. There's like patents for plane seats on very short haul flights, like under an hour, where they're basically like bicycle seats. And they're like very close together. So your legs are like kind of standing, 
you're sort of semi standing. Uh, so they pack like double the amount of people in. Uh, it's only for very short flights, like one hour flights. I don't think they've ever been implemented, but it's been patented. But you think about how many people go on a bus and just stand, right? And hold onto a handle or on the subway. I mean, if your flight was very short and you were willing to stand, but still resting your butt against a seat. So it takes the weight off you. It could be acceptable. I don't know. That's another way for airlines to try to squeeze the numbers. Let's see what happens after July 2nd, if they're still around uh, doing it after that. And then I'll go, okay, they push right, it. That'll be the test, whether they're going to go heart attack grill on us. Yeah, yeah exactly.